In the case of the United States versus Tasha St. Patrick, are both sides ready? Hashtag 2-Bit is free. But that leaves more questions now, more intrigue, a little bit more to the story. Will 2-Bit get out and just go away? Will the writers do that? Will the writers have him at odds with Kane? Or with what we just seen with Kane being frustrated with Monet, Kane getting beat up by his daddy, will that push Kane out? And will Kane ultimately team up with 2-Bit and then we've got a whole new story going on? This is Power Book 2, Episode 7 Trailer Review. Let's see if this is going to give us some clues. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. It is very important nowadays that you turn on notifications because for whatever the reason with the new things going on in YouTube, people aren't getting notifications, so I want you to get mine. Turn them on. Be sure to catch me and Larry and special guests Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night when we go live. We talk power. We talk stocks. We talk current events. And this week, Monday, tonight, we're going to just be doing Power, Shameless, and one story that popped up this weekend. Let's watch the rest of the trailer and then pick it apart. I don't want you to come to the trial. What you need to be doing is making sure Davis gets paid. There's a lot of action going on. Sex free! Each of you has a card with a secret. Get move, get the fan. Have you heard from Kane? She's been pushing me out. Guess who's next? What did you say to him? All right, first scene, we see Tasha Green St. Patrick at that trial. Everybody's standing up. They're getting ready to cast their verdict. And then they cut to a scene where Cooper Sacks is looking very, very suspect at McLean. Now, we all know both of them are dirty, but I would probably say that McLean is more dirty because he's smart with his. Cooper Sacks is Nancy for a reason. They call him Nancy for a reason. I've called him punk-ass Cooper Sacks, but ladies and gentlemen, McLean is conniving and a winner. So I wonder what's going to happen at this case. Then they cut to the judge. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in this last episode, the judge knew something was up based on the way they was picking the jury. I wouldn't rule it out that that judge makes some crazy ruling superseding what the jury says because she know that the fix is in between Sachs and McLean. Then we cut to a scene where Tasha just telling Tariq, don't worry about showing up to the trial. She need to be getting that money. And then they show Tariq. And then we see Tariq getting an admin alert, new pending order. That's his business. But let us not forget Stearns' boyfriend. At some point in time, he's going to be a center of controversy. And then we just see Tariq just looking stressed the hell out, ladies and gentlemen. He's carrying a heavy course load. He's got his mama on his mind. He's still doing Zeke homework on his mind. He's probably about to find out that old Professor Copyright Jabari is still in his info. And we see him on the phone making phone calls. And then we see, is that Brayden? Whoever that is, he's throwing something up in the class. And then they flash to Tariq. Looks like he's catching a condom. And I don't think that that's still in the classroom. Leave me comments on what you think is being thrown up in the classroom. And if that's a condom Tariq is catching. Because Tariq has got all these women throwing themselves at him. Then we see my professor. And don't you say lock and key Carrie. Y'all leave that woman alone. She's an established member of an educational unit. Stop picking on that woman. Talking about she get moist. Anytime she's standing next to a door. Y'all ought to be ashamed of your damn self. Grown woman, she does not get moist when she see lock and keys. Then they cut to Lauren and Tariq. And uh, Tariq got his daggone Bill Cosby sweater game going on, don't he? And it just looked like they got some kind of a paper, some information about something. They don't look too thrilled about it. Now we have a telling, telling clip where we see Kane. Looks like they're about to rob somebody. I don't think they got those masks on because they're worried about COVID-19. They got on masks and they look like they're about to hit up somewhere or somebody in the background got a gun up in the air. And then we see them cut to a scene where they're grabbing money. Now, who do you guys think is Wit Kane? Um, the guy with the spike mask on. That could have been the individual that we saw leave with Mary J. Blige when she took Diana and Drew 
down to the chop house where they was chopping up the drugs, counting up the money. That could easily be him. But, um, you know, they're an organization. They've got plenty of people on the streets all over the place. And maybe Kane has decided to go get some people who are disgruntled to team up with him. And they robbing people right there. Then we see Monet with this distraught look on her face. Apparently she's looking at Diana and Drew wondering where the hell is Kane. And they're talking like Kane has been missing for a hot minute. Then we see Kane talking to Officer Rico Suave, basically telling him that if Monet is pushing him out, what the hell she thinks she's going to do with him? Now, I think he already know his role with Monet and that Monet is ruthless and the only thing Monet care about is that business and Lorenzo's orders. And then we see them cut to a scene with Lorenzo where we assume he's on the phone talking to Monet, Monet asking him, what the hell did you do or say to Kane? Folks, this could indicate that Kane hasn't been back to see Monet, Drew, and Diana since he got his ass beat up by his daddy in jail. I wonder what's going to happen from that. And then you see them, and uh, I mean, cut to Drew and Diana looking like, what in the hell? Y'all know he's a wild card. Kane is definitely a wild card. We don't know. And then you see Tasha St. Patrick Green looking at either the jury, looking at the judge with intent in her eyes. And then you see our boy Nancy looking over there and the jury behind him is about to stand up, render their verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, is it 100% slam dunk that Tasha's getting out of jail? It's got to be 100% slam dunk Tasha's getting out of jail. It wouldn't surprise me if that judge says something crazy, but I think Tasha's getting out. And then lastly, we see Kane. Maybe he's back at home. Maybe he's somewhere else. But I want you guys to leave me all your comments on what do you think is going to happen with Kane? Are we going to see this season ending with Kane splintering, possibly teaming up with 2-Bit? And if those two team up, who's going to be the brains of the organizations? A whole lot of muscle, a whole lot of niggas going to die. But who is going to be the brains of that organization and where would they get their drugs from? But leave me all your comments. Be sure to catch us live tonight, 9 p.m. And every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.